Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our continued blind let's play is Attorney Dual Destinies Turnabout Academy. My name is the Flightless Bird, this is your Story Gaming Channel, and today, yes, I know I've been away for a while. I've been pretty sick, and uh, my throat hasn't worked. Literally, like, I, I struggled to just talk normally, and there were certain voices that I couldn't do at all. But I have been on medication, I have. Uh, I took like a five day break from all videos, not just my RPG and, and uh, horror playthroughs. And now I just want to get back into the swing of things. So with that said, let's waste no time. Let's jump into it. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. The prosecution has one final piece of evidence to present to the court. Uh, evidence? What's he going to pull out now? Feast your eyes on this photo, and let me at least see that insolent look vanish from within them. So it's uh the 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 judge and our girl, Junie. It's a very pretty picture. They look very happy. Oh, look, look at that. We got a little artistic drawing of her. 7.05 at night in the art room. What's so bad about this picture? It looks really nice. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's a picture of the defendant and the victim. The photograph shows Professor sort of preparing for the mock trial together. Wait, was this taken in the art room, the room where the murder occurred? Indeed it was. But the revelations do not end there. Do you see the clock on the wall? It reads 7.05, a mere five minutes before voice was recorded on the tape. Yeah, but how do we know that's the same date? What? The accused brutally stabbed the victim to death five minutes after this photo was taken. School, school camera photo added to the court record. But there's no... I mean, it is from a school camera, though. So I would assume they would know the date, right? Hmm, it seems the defendant's culpability in the crime is quite obvious. Jenny was with Professor Court just five minutes before she was murdered. What now? Nothing I could say could change that fact. Hmm, you understand now. You can believe in your client all you wish, but try as you might. Such misplaced faith will inevitably be cut down before the cruel steely blade of truth. Yag! Listen, Missy. The person you'd like to save more than anyone else in the world? I'd be willing to wager that your defense isn't what they desire. But, but, but. I became a lawyer so I could. You still fail to understand. But there's so much pain in defeat. The courts are not the play yards of little children dressed as lawyers. So, before you break your back in failure, run along home and grow up. Gah! Ah! If he thinks I'm giving up now, he's got another thing coming. I had to find my inner strength if I ever hope to save him. What? Him. Him. Who's him? I mean, we're defending Junie. Who's the him? But I can't think of any way to strike back. The worst of times, I will always have to force the biggest smiles. But well, that's impossible. How could I smile under these circumstances even if I forced it? This is better than bad. Who knew Black Quill had that one waiting in the wings? Why did that twisted samurai just present it at the beginning? Wait, maybe this was his real plan? Was he just trying to show me how weak and powerless I am? Maybe he's right, because I really haven't got a clue. 
Who's the real killer? Who murdered Professor Katz at court? Robin Newman, a girl who had been forced to live a lie as a guy. Or was it Hugh O'Connor, the honest student who had met with Professor Court? Hmm, there seems to be little reason to debate the defendant's guilt any longer. The time for verdict has come. I like his eyes shimmering there. Oh, hi, Robin. No! That's not gonna happen, man! Now, what's the meaning of this? Can't interrupt a judge about to hand down a... Tee hee hee. Maybe, but false verdicts are a N-O-N-O. -N -O, or a no-o-no-o. -O -O, however you do it. Zabo was trying to tell me that instead of, like, it being the letters, it's just, like, drawn out. Not sure. Don't got much context there to go on. What? Miss Newman, please explain yourself. Juniper's not the killer. I know because, because I know who the real killer is. You do? You know who the real killer is? What is she up to now? Yep, I know because the real killer is... Me, me, tee uh, what? It was me! I did it alone! Just me! I don't get it. Why is she confessing? Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm, Miss Newman was witness near the stage. There's even a related photo of her. The more I think about it, the more suspicious she seems. Robin Newman isn't the kind of guy who pins the blame on friends! Just so we can walk free! Get it over with! They claim me guilty already! We have a lot of interruptions here. Now Juniper's back on the stage. <clears throat> Please, wait. Juniper, what are you doing? Thank you for all you've done, Dina. But you'll have to forgive me. I can't let my friends take the blame any longer. Junie, no! Don't do it! You and Robin have done nothing wrong. They have absolutely no connection to this case. What do you mean they have absolutely no connection to this case? That's a lie. The real killer is... Is me. I alone am responsible for the entire crime. All right, now we're gonna get Hugh O'Connor in. Hmm, uh, what? Junie, you know that's not true. Hurry up with the detective statement. I'm afraid it is true. Forgive me, Dina. I wonder if this case is gonna, is gonna parallel the uh, Academy case from, from Master Detective Archives Rain Code. Hmm. I don't want to talk too much about that because I don't want to spoil that for people who haven't seen it. But if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Order, order, order! Will somebody please explain what the heck and Dan Dickens is going on here? <sighs> I see right through your cheap ploy. School rules state that a prior conviction terminates one's eligibility to graduate. A guilty verdict here would make whatever dreams had one go up in a puff of smoke. Ooh, I wasn't aware. Even me, little mice will fight when cornered. A pitiful spectacle, I might add. These vermin are trying to protect each other now that they've nowhere else to run. Protect each other? Wait! So was Robin just trying to protect Junie too? If so, then the real killer is... Yep, I was waiting for this. Now it's Hugh's turn. Yep, haha. Huh. This whole thing's a joke. 
Uh oh, now it's Hugh's turn. What? What is wrong with the kids these days? Why, when I was young, I, uh. Anyway, I know what just crossed your mind, Miss Sykes. Whoa! I was not expecting that! You think I'm the killer, don't you? Wow, he really is a genius. He really knows what you're thinking. <laughs> I think it's about time that I told you the truth. And I'll even get right to the point. It was me. I did it. Wait. What? This case is going off the rails all of a sudden. Now both potential suspects are claiming to be the real killer. Ark, I, I am so confused right now. <laughs> if you still have doubts, how about I detail my murder plot? It's absolutely genius. Enough for this nonsense. This is a court of law, not the center of some high school drama. I uh, see, I have no choice. I'm afraid I'll have to, uh... Wait! Hey! Wait, your baldness. I'm sorry, Prosecutor Black Quill. But I'm in no position to hand down a verdict just yet. I am hoping that the defense and prosecution can come up with some airtight evidence. Well, that is why I'm giving you both the rest of the day to continue investigating this case. Pinch me. I think I'm dreaming. Huh. Fine. Do as you wish. Well, this brings today's proceeding to a close. Court is adjourned. To be continued. All right, well, fortunately, it would have been nice if I could have gone 20 more minutes. 20, 20 more minutes, yeah. If I could have gone 20 more minutes in the last video. Uh, but then again, I wasn't feeling well, so that's why I stopped a little bit earlier. But And if I could just go my normal hour, that would have been great. Oh, well. Back to rights anything agency, October 25th. Sorry, boss. I couldn't do it. You know, that little bit of advice that you gave me. The worst at times are when lawyers had to force the biggest smiles. I don't know exactly what you meant. But there was no way that I could force a smile in that courtroom today. I'm just glad you remembered that. But how about relaxing a little? Well, relax. Not going to happen. Hmm... Junie, she asked me to defend her because she believes in me. But I, I felt completely helpless. If it wasn't for the confessions, I'd... But well, this trial proceeds in the same manner and ends in the same way as the mock trial. Would you not lose everything you worked so hard to gain? Well, I just have to make sure that doesn't happen then, won't I? No, I cannot lose it all. Not now. You okay, Athena? You're turning kind of pale there. I can't just sit around here. I'm going to finish the investigation. Can't it wait? I just took a batch of freshly baked cookies out of my magic panties. Thanks, but I better get going. Save me one for when I get back. Apollo, you wait here. I need to see Junie at the detention center first thing right away. No, wait. I'm going with you. Sorry, Mr. Wright. But I better go, too. No problem. You two be careful. October 25th. Detention Center. Visitor's Room. There's so much that I need to ask Junie. What happened in the court today? Where we go from here? Okay, what are you doing here? Well, now, uh, fancy meeting you here. Oh, Professor Means, what brings you here? I asked him to come. He arrived just a little bit before you. I want to ask him something, but first, Athena, I want to apologize for my sudden confession after you worked so hard to defend me. 
She was calling me Tina until just now. Aww. No, I should be the one apologizing. The whole thing spiraled out of my control. Athena, I... Don't worry, I'll really bring it tomorrow. I'll find something to prove that you're innocent. About that... Athena... I've been thinking of asking Professor Means to defend me. Huh? I myself only just heard it this is a moment ago! Oh, so she thinks Professor Means would be... No, I, I can't let this happen. Not with the way that she, he wants to do things. Jijuni. I know, Athena. But will you please hear me out? Alright, fair enough. Why change lawyers? Athena, do you actually think you or Ramon could have committed this crime? The body was moved right before the mock trial. Besides Juni, they're the only ones who could have moved freely around the campus at that time. I'm sorry, Juni, but at this point, I can't rule them out. I was afraid you'd say that. Jennifer is taking a lawyer who can clear all three of their names! Only I am capable of such a feat! But how can you possibly prove that all three of them are innocent? I am a result-oriented person! Come tomorrow, I will fail to have the perfect piece of evidence ready! For the end really does justify the means, especially for me, Professor Aristotle Means! Ugh, I really don't like the sound of that. I'm sorry, but... Just as you believe I'm innocent, I believe that my friends are innocent too. Alright, if that's how you really feel, we'll respect your decision. Uh, Apollo! But we want to continue our investigation. Could we ask you some more questions? Sure, I don't mind. Professor Means, would you like to stay and join our conversation? Yes, of course. I am your lawyer, after all. You know, I just noticed that his badge looks like someone screaming. I mean, look at his badge. Uh, the eyes are the scale, uh, the, the weights. And then you got this giant mouth, like screaming in pain almost. It, it's so weird to look at now that I see that. I can't unsee that face now. There's that smile again. Why does it always kick me out? Why did you confess? About your confession, Junie. It's not true, is it? You just said what you did because Robin had confessed on the stand, didn't you? Yes, I wasn't thinking straight. All I knew was I had to help my friend. You mean because of that school rule? The one that says you can't graduate if you are convicted of a crime. No, I didn't do it because of some rule. I did because she's my friend. <laughs> Why is it Discord in a voice again? Could it really be that the friendship between the three of them is on the rocks? There's more here than meets the eye. The trio's friendship. When did you first three become friends? Well, even though we were in different courses, we really bonded from the first day at school. We vowed to work together to bring an end to the dark age of the law. That was when our proof of friendship came about. And yet you want to work with this guy? There's that proof of friendship thing again. I just wish this was as simple as that. Yeah. We even have, uh, proof of our friendship. Yeah! As long as our friendship lasts, you can bet we'll be carrying them around. But the situation kind of changed recently. When the school's policy shifted to training legal professionals who produce results. Allow me to explain. Only the lawyer calls what I teach, but it's the results means winning trials. Uh, Professor Good, on the other hand, thought that finding the truth was the only valid result. Unfortunately, that clash of ideas created a rift among our students. 
At some point, we stopped talking about it. While that meant fewer arguments, it also meant we couldn't be as frank and open with each other as we used to be. I think I understand now. By putting the friendship on a pedestal, they actually did more harm than good. It seems the relationship between the three of them isn't as simple as I thought. Juniper, thank you for talking to us about the difficult subject. Yeah, thanks, Juni. Now, if you could tell us about the day of the murder. The day of the martyr. Juni, you told us yesterday that you went home a little after 6 p.m. Was that a lie? I'm sorry I didn't tell you this before, but... What actually happened was I left the art room a little after 6 p.m. and... Headed over to my dressing room where I worked on my stage costume until 7. That's it. You didn't go anywhere else. No, nowhere else. If that really were it, then what, there would be no reason to lie in the first place. She's got to be hiding something else. Junie, do you remember this picture? Yes, but something's wrong here. Wrong? What's wrong? I took this picture around 6 o'clock, which was before I left the art room. But the clock here says it's just after 7. Yeah? Okay. So... Maybe... Maybe the picture is real and her story is true, but someone manipulated the clock. Why would you manipulate the clock, though? Maybe you just didn't rewind it from daylight savings time. <laughs> I do that. I, I, I will admit, I do that. I have clocks that are always like an hour behind. And uh, they're right, you know, six months a year. And then six months a year, they're wrong. Um, I, I, I don't know why I do that. I just kind of lazy. Thankfully, my phone automatically updates my clock for me on it. Because otherwise, yeah, I, I'm just bad with updating clocks. By 7 o'clock, I'd already been working in my dress room for some time. So there's something definitely wrong with the time in this picture. Hmm, I guess we better go check the art room. Okay, just one last question about the day of the murder. Encountering O'Connor. On the evening before the mock trial, the evening of the murder, you ran into Hugh. Yes, I did. At around 7.15, I went to the main building before going home, and that's when I saw Juniper. We didn't say much as we passed by each other. She just seemed to her usual self. Well, that's it. Anything else that you'd like to ask? All the dots. She suddenly went silent. She always was terrible at hiding things. Was she trying to keep the meeting a secret by lying about going home at 6? I don't know, but she's definitely sweating up a furious storm here. Which definitely means that, yeah, she's definitely hiding something. Alright, I won't put the matter any further. Is there anything else you know on the night of the matter? Well, I don't know if this will help, but... That evening, I went back to my dressing room to get something I'd forgotten there. It was well after the last bell rang. I'd say maybe around 8.30. Around 8.30, huh? Well, that's over an hour, hour after when the crime supposedly took place. Well, that's why I noticed that both stage statues were finished. They were quite large, and they were each covered with a white sheet, but I could tell. It made me happy to think that after all that hard work, they were finally finished. Oh, right. There's such as that Robin made. So they were covered in white sheets. Chijuni, are you okay? Sorry, I'm a little tired, that's all. I think you gave me my cold. <laughs> I was playing this game. She starts coughing, and all of I get sick. Yeah, I see what happened. Although I don't have a sunflower to breathe on. Maybe that was my mistake. I should have gotten a sunflower. Athena, I think this meeting is over. Professor Means? Well, yes, I will use any means possible to get the result I want in Jennifer's case. But it will require considerable preparation, so I must be off. Hold it. 
Junie and Professor Means, I have a proposal. A proposal? Wait, this isn't another one of your crazy... Why send out today? Yes? I, Athena Sykes, along with Apollo Justice. Wait a second, don't drag my name into this. <laughs> We're going to discover the truth behind this murder mystery. What? And we're going to bring you solid evidence showing just what the truth is. Why is he so it has come to this, has it? If we succeed in doing that, I want you to promise that you'll accept it, Juni, no matter how hard it is to hear. Ah. Then you shouldn't need anyone else to defend you except me. Have we got the deal? I trust it's okay with you, too, Professor Means. I have no objections as long as you're both satisfied with this arrangement. Okay, but only if it's a real truth. I'm sorry to put you through this, Dina, but thank you. She called me Dina again. I've been thinking only of myself this whole time. Junie, it's way too early to thank me. But you can thank me all you want once I get to the bottom of this. Oh, very well. I will see you back here on Sunday. Sorry for all the trouble, Professor. It's just, uh, she's in the agency, so, uh, you know. Don't be silly. I want it all for the thriller. Well, now, let us return again later. If you'll excuse me, I better go. Okay, I'll see you later. But if this child proceeds in the same manner and ends in the same way as the mock trial, would you not lose everything you worked so hard to gain? I, this is no time to be thinking about that. I've got an investigation to do. And I will find the truth by sundown, no matter what. Any ideas? Might as well just ask him. Only the three mock trial participants could have moved the body before it started. That's why the killer must be Robin, Hugh, or Juniper. Right, and that means at least one of them is lying. To make matters worse, I have a feeling each one of them is hiding some sort of secret. We'll have to bring it all to light. I'm not looking forward to it, but it must be done. Today's trial focuses on the day of the crime and the actions of those involved. Yeah, like when the voice was recorded and who went to the art room and when. If we analyze it what we have, we should be able to ID the killer. There's no lead in these legs, or no lead in these legs. I've been training for a day like this. Okay, on my mark. Ready, set. No running for me. I'm done trying to keep up with you. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. Where are we going? Um. Well, let's just work our way through it. Go to the hallway. Go to the lecture hall. Go to the stage. October 25th, Demis Legal Academy, outdoor stage. Ah! Oh, God. Is it my imagination, or did something just move? It's scuttlebutt. Oh, hello, Clavier. Afternoon, you tall. Yes, we got Clavier's music. His music is great. I love his music. Prosecutor Gavin, what are you doing here? Don't you think sticking into campus like this is just slightly suspicious? I'll have you know that I'm continuing my investigation in the strict is of confidence. I don't want to get caught napping again at tomorrow's trial. And that means a thorough investigation today. You think you can lend us a hand? 
Yes, team up. Activate. I'm not one to refuse a damsel in distress. But you needed have asked for line. I intended to help from the start. You're the best, Prosecutor Gavin. Okay, it's time for a thought investigation. I bet we missed a lot of stuff yesterday. I like how Scarbutch is in the background. The stage. Prosecutor Gavin, you were scheduled to perform at the school festival, weren't you? That's right. But I hadn't seen the stars until yesterday. That bacteria with the starry sky and big crescent moon isn't half bad. They also had some ticks of a slave to make the concert very vark. The periotechniques, a fog machine, big banners, things like that. It would have looked like this. Cool. Oh, the plants from yesterday. What's that design on the banner in the back? I know the scales are the school symbol. But what's with the number six? It looks like it's a serious pain or something. That's the Gavinier logo. Come on. Uh, Athena, X-Day on the x -day? <laughs> That's the Gavinier's logo for line. Oh, a nice pig Latin air for head. A very smooth. Oh, I, uh, I admit it looks just like the number six rocking seriously hard. Nine for line. It's a J for governors. Not a six. But whatever floats your pretty boat. So, where is the banner? I don't see anyone on stage. Ah, it was an important part of the show. But the school managed to misplace it somehow. It's a pity. They had specifically made from heavyweight high gray cloth. A missing banner and two broken statues. They are the mysteries of plenty to be solved, yeah? Come to think of it, one of the broken statues was a Pusker to Gavin. The statues. As you can see here in the stage plans. Right here, they had the statue of May. And right here, our right, right statue. But little does that matter now, as they both lie in the paces thanks to your air for head. What did I ever do to you? Actually, this statue book is rather large pieces. <laughs> Why don't we try to put it back together? Maybe we'll learn something new. Hmm, picking up the pieces of a shattered box star. Ah, Kung! That's one uber cool idea! There might even be a song in there somewhere! Yay! Let's do this! Chanel! Uh, this is an investigation of my interrupting on your language club social event. Examine. The box. Wait, you don't think this real box here is. I knew it. I know that voice anywhere. Let's just ignore it. I mean, it's it's made its wishes loud and clear. So, this is the future cardboard box technology has afforded us, huh? <laughs> 67. Wow, the school festival goes way back. Oh, look. The text on the sign is a vidin. It's embroidered. And there's a warning in even smaller embroidery. Embroidered sign lovingly crafted by the Handicrafts Club. Keep dry. But the sign is outside. What happens if it rains? I don't know. This is fine for a rock concert, but... The nighttime skies are backed up for the courtroom. Personally, I think it's breathtaking. I mean, speaking the truth, under a starry sky. Don't you think it's romantic for line? 
and the vining crescent moon represents the maximum three-day trial cycle. Three-day trials outdoors? No thanks. With such training, my hair will be ruined. <laughs> There's even a post dispatch here on the stage. Ah, uh, the memories for line. As a former Vox star and prosecutor, the prosecutor's bench has taught me much about my human emotions, passion, and fight. I can picture it now. You with your silvery singing voice and a pile of sweaty bullets. Hey! I'm a picture of me winning once in a while because I did win against him a bunch of times. Thank you very much. Wow, they built a witness there too, even though it's just a temporary stage. Oh, but I think they're still working on it. Let's see what this notice says. Caution, pedestal features a high speed rotation mode. Activate with care. You mean this thing spins? The winner of the mock trial was to take the turning seminar right here. You mean Hero Robin? Yeah, besides Junie, they're the only ones who can move freely around the campus. Before the mock trial, that means one of them must be the killer. But that's not really enough to go on, is it? We need to talk with Juniper one more time and persuade her to give us a name. Right, and that means we have to find any refutable evidence before the day ends. There's no time to lose, but we can't rush it either. Efficiency is the key. It's a bit too far away to get a look. Maybe we should try a different angle. Oh, I didn't even realize that I could spin my camera around. Ah, uh, I like that. Okay, so there's the broken pieces. Wait, is that part two? I didn't realize that. Found one! A piece of Puskita Gavin's shattered pipe. <laughs> Are you saying my pride is as fragile as a pasta de party? It looks like there are other large pieces scattered about. Okay, let's find what we can. A large white fragment has a tactical shape that could be described as angular. Oh no, Puska de Gavin, you're a complete wreck. Literally. <laughs> Why in the world would someone do something like this? I don't know, but whoever did it must have felt an amazing sense of release. Can I take that as a confession, hair for head? What? No! I feel bad for Robin. She worked so hard on these. Let's pick up the pieces for her. You got it. Let's check every corner of the stage then, ya? Yeah? Find another piece of statue. But there should still be some more. Let's leave no stone unturned. Quite literally. Two large white fragments. Looks like it would feel good to break them. Hmm, that's a weird description. It's a copy of the school paper with that story about the legend love triangle. I wonder if really people really waste their time reading this stuff. It's more popular than you think. What was that? I thought I heard something just now. You're just hearing things. It was nothing more than the ice play tricks on you. <laughs> I love how she's a part of everything. That's cool. I found another piece of statue. But there should still be more. Purple fragment added to the court record. Uh, it was found all alone in the strangest of places. Hello? Find another piece. Two rope fragments, going to search more. Oh, there was something else up there. Okay. 
Oh, I like the view. The judge can look down at everything from up here. Yeah, not bad for a temporary stage. Hmm, is that so, Mr. Justice? Heh, your judge act from the mock mock trial? I don't know why, but it kind of creeps me out. Wrong answer again, Mr. Justice. A penalty for a mock lawyer. Arg! That's not funny! I like how you saw this sound effect there. That was cool. The other statue of Robin made. It's with smashed to bits. If there were some larger pieces, we might be able to put this one back together too. Yeah, but all I see are itty bitty ones. I wonder what Mr. Wright would think. If he knew, we put Puss get a Gavin statue back together and let his like kiss. We could always come back to it after the case is solved. I'll be fixing. Why is this still telling us this? Look, there's your rival over there, Apollo. Who, Prosecutor Gavin? We bowed out a few times before, but I want to call him. No, not to him. I met that speaker over there. <laughs> it can now put massive blasters on that rival the courts of steel. I have better things to do than compete with a speaker. So just forget it. That was good. Um, I don't see this right here. Ah, okay, we got the check mark now. Oh, hello. It's right here in front of us. This looks like another piece of statue. Thanks, Apollo. This makes five pieces in all. I think we'll I think we have all that we're gonna find. Okay, let's get back to where Professor Ga has to get a Gavin was shattered. I think you might want to reward that. <laughs> Uh, three purple fragments of a book statue that originally stood on a pedestal on stage. Well, I don't see any other big pieces lying around. Yeah, let's see if we can put the statue back together. Alright, Apollo, you come over here and pass it to Gavin. If he could hold this. Aw, oh, I'm not going to be able to put it back together myself. That would have been cool if I could have. Oh wow, look at that! It's amazing how they put it together so perfectly, despite the fact that it was broken off and we only had three pieces! <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about that though, it's not important. We did it! Not bad, if I say so myself. Yeah, but don't you think it's strange? They put the statue back together, but look. But with all these leftover white pieces. Hmm, these look like they go together. And this one too. Um, Athena? What do you think you're doing? Don't stop me now. The artist is telling me wants to go out and have a good time. A the heck? There was a third statue? So what is it? Ah, it's the goddess of law holding a paw of scars in one hand and a sword in the other. It's a little bit unbelievable that those small little pieces could be reforged so perfectly. But, you know, like I said, that's not important. That's quite the feat you pulled off there, full line. Well, I love that feeling you get after you work really hard at something. No, no, no. I knew who it was. I meant to ask, what's it doing here? Not sure. There's no statue like these in the stage plans. Still, I could have sworn I see the statue somewhere before. Lady Justice added to the court record. It looks amazing in that picture. This and this such a clavier were broken at the same time, but have been repaired. No one knows where it came from. The more we learn, the deeper the rabbit hole goes. At least we are moving in the right direction. Let's keep searching the stars for clues. I've been wondering about something this whole time. You know that pole at the edge of the stage? You mean this? It has a wire that goes off and connects to something somewhere. What the heck? The heck is this? Someone slid down this and I never noticed this before? An impressive building feat for an impressive school. Yeah, and these beautiful walls are like a big black canvas. See, my shoe bits, they really distinct. Marks. 
Hey, cut that out before it gets us in trouble. This via is for Hingham Bonners over the stars. One of the policemen who was here earlier was checking how it worked. Oh, so that's why the banner looks like it's out of place. Someone slid down this. The banners are hung and removed from the art room over there. That's the art room over there? As in the scene of the crime? Bingo for lying. It's still crawling with cops, though. Hey, anyone in the art room? Oh, wow. I love how you came out animated like that. That was great. Hi, Fulbright. Oh, it's you people. Ha ha ha. Injustice, we trust. Ah, it's Detective Fulbright. Injustice, we trust. Is there some kind of greeting between you two? Detective Fulbright. Can you lower that banner from there? Of course, just leave it to me! Yeah, I love how, they anim how he's animated, like going in and out. That was cool. It's the small things that amuse me. How's that? <laughs> Woo! Thanks, Detective. And just as we trust. Aha! Always glad to help in just as we trust! So, is that some kind of greeting between you two or not? It looks like it's been done in such a way that you could transport a body down. Well, it looks like the band is down now. Let's go have a look. This is how they move the body. Look at this banner. I don't think it would flap very well in the wind. An unflappable banner? Hey, I like that. It goes perfect with unflappable lawyers and unflappable rockers. It was like it was made for this very stage. Look at this. The bottom part is all knotted up. Let me try and unravel it. What is that smudge? You see like there's like a smudge on the um on the left bottom? Is that blood? Jeez, did you really have to? You don't have to come across an unflappable banner every day. Athena, there are some things that you have to yield to forces beyond themselves. What a cool world we live in. <laughs> hey, a scrap of paper was caught up inside. It's blown away. I got it. Yes, great catch, huh? October, Hugh 120. It looks like some kind of note. What does it say? Uh, October, Hugh 120. What's that supposed to mean? A test score, maybe? It's pretty impressive when you consider that 100 is a perfect score. I don't see how even Hugh can get beyond perfect. For line, shall we inspect the banner again? Now that it has been unraveled. New scrap added to the court record. D uh, discovered on stage appears to be a piece of paper torn from notebook. The name Hugh is written on it. This is the emblem that's on Judy's gold uniform. Hey, you're right. Wait a sec. It's hard to see it against the red material, but look. There's a dark red stain here just under the emblem. This banner was on a wire connected to the art room. Right, and the art room is where the murder occurred. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know, Brain. Uh, how many, uh... Oh, God, I, I don't know one off the top of my head. Ah! One sec. So, I think so, but if we cover the world in salad dressing, what did the asparagus feel left out? <laughs> the picky and the brain, picky and the brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. School banner added to the court record. I'm sorry, I just I just had a big in the brain flashback there. Uh Chase the Metal Blood was found on it. Hey, look what I made. Not bad, huh? You're like a recording artist who samples other people's work and calls it their own. Well, you know what they say. Imitation is a sincere form of flattery. 
In any case, we have a statue special in addition to ki Killer to Catch now. Nine. I suspect it might be the one in the psalm. This statue doesn't look anything like you or Mr. Wright, but you notice it's seemingly blocking the blood. The goddess banning skulls and a sword. She's a symbol of fondness and slime. But she and her symbols were shattered, along with the statues of Mr. Wright. This is a direct challenge to the rule of law. But they want to fight, they got one. Whoa, take it down, Notch Tiger. Let's say they're fighting for more finer culprit. Well, that was a whole lot of poking around in such a short time. Does that mean you're satisfied? Actually, there was one more thing that I wanted to check out. See that metal fence back there? There's just one that one segment, so it seems out of place. It looks like they were in the process of removing them after the stars was set up. But they were never able to finish on account of the Mada. We should go take a look if you think it would be important. Whoa. Hmm, this track looks mummied. Hey, you're right, and it looks like it starts from behind the backdrop. Maybe a big bunny professor was hiding back there. Uh, well, that was totally random, but we'll never know until we take a look. It looks like something was being dragged through here. And this is where it started. Yeah, but whatever it was, it's long gone. Must have been pretty heavy. Perhaps it was used in setting up the school festival. Ah, oh, then I guess it wasn't a poor wrestler. Still, this could be something important. Yeah, poor wrestler was another case. Well, that's about it for the stage. You know what the... You know, I will say, in most of the cases, you investigate things and you find things out. In this case, like right there, it almost felt like I was on a... Uh, um, I was on a train track. Like, the game basically said, we're going to take away this element of investigation from you, and we're just going to do it for you. It would have been better if I could have investigated the fence, and then we go to the fence, and then I investigate behind the fence, and we do that. Yeah, it may have been slower, and it may have been more tedious, but I would have felt like I was doing the investigating, rather than the computer just, like, took over and did the investigating itself. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are about that. Well, that's about, that's about it for the stage. Right, I think we better switch the outro next. I think I'll hang around here for a while. But make sure to tell me once you find it, ya. Yeah? Find what? What else? The governor's banner that disappeared from the stage. You never know, it just might be connected to the case at hand. Really? Or does he just want his banner back? I wonder if the banner was used to transport the, uh, the thing. Don't tell me. So, in short, that's... Hmm? Hey. You're gonna finally show yourself, Scuttlebutt? The box! It just took off running! I have a pretty good idea who that is, as I suspect you did too. Come on, we can't afford to have any weird articles or did about us. The maintenance area is over in that direction, after that box. October 25th, Demon's Legal Academy. Maintenance, or area. Miriam, you're liable to get tossed in the garbage truck if you hang around here. I'm just an empty box, and that's what you do with them. You throw them away. Hey, did you change boxes? I like the new look. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Wipe the past clean with crime cleaner. Get sparkling clean with brute force. Danger toxic. <laughs> I like how it says danger toxic. What does it matter anymore? I was a complete failure at court today. My work, my pride, my dreams, everything I've worked so hard for, gone. Sorry, Miss Scudderbutt, but 
doesn't believe in you, how does good point you really didn't make you a failure as a reporter? A uh, failure as a reporter? Ka 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 So what's really cool is something that was shown in my Discord by uh by Intra is like the laptop that fell from her box. Uh, if you pause it and you look at the laptop, she like photoshopped herself into a picture of uh, Q, Robin, and um, Junie. And it, it's really funny. If you haven't seen it, go like search for it or something. Come to think of it, calling her a failure as reported might have been a big screen. Uh. Stole me. Despise me. Pack me away while I never see the light of day. I be cast aside to waste away into a big pile of mushy paper mache. I kind of feel responsible for this, but now's our chance to part it for information while she's vulnerable. I bet that's what you were just thinking. Not really. What kind of person do you think I am? You read me like a book. <laughs> Okay, we will talk to Scuttlebutt in the next episode, my dear friends. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, on a blind let's play Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, case number... Well, it's kind of confusing with the case numbers due to the uh, the DLC. But anyway, case number whatever. Uh, <laughs> Turnabout Academy. I will see you again soon. Until then, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.